We're late. What were you doing? I was just buying a couple of books. The hey, flight goes look. in two minutes. Come on. Oh. Hello. What were you doing five minutes ago? Were you reading a book? Or were you waiting for Follow Me to start? Well, that's our question today. What were you doing? In the programme, of course, you'll also hear some answers. For example, what was this young man doing last night? So there you are. Hello. What were you doing when I rang an hour ago? Were you still asleep? No. I thought you were. This is Stephen Collins. Who's that? I was having breakfast when the phone rang. Having breakfast at ten o'clock? I had a late night last night. I was working until midnight. Working? Yes. Well, most of the time. Tom wanted to see you. Oh? He said he always got up at six when he was a young newspaper reporter. And when he was your age, he started work at eight every day. Eight? He wanted to know if you started work at eleven o'clock every day. Of course not. Um, where is he? In his office. He said he was waiting for you. Oh, well, I'll go and see him. <laughs> By the way, what's all this? Paul Oldman is in town today. I'm going to talk to him for the Weekly Echo. Oh, that's strong. I know. What were you doing when I rang? He wanted to know if you started work at 11. Mr. Jones asked about you this morning. Wanted to know if you started work at 11. There was an accident in South Street. Did you have an accident? Well, no. I was looking in a shop window when the accident happened. George, this young man's from the newspaper, the Weekly Echo. Uh. Hello, Mr. Miller. Edith? Yes. He smells. Lots of young men smell. Anyway, it's nice. He wanted to know if you worked for the Weekly Echo. Um, Mr. Miller, you saw the accident, I believe, in South Street yesterday. I told the policeman. I was walking down South Street when the accident happened. I'll make a cup of tea. Yes. Go on, Mr. Miller. Well, when I was walking down South Street, this accident happened. Yes. There were two cars, I believe. Yes, that's right. Two cars had an accident while I was walking down South Street. Could you tell me about it, Mr. Miller? What happened? Well, I told the policeman. I said I always walk down South Street in the afternoon. Yes, but did you see the accident, Mr. Miller? I walk down South Street every day. And I look in the shop windows. <laughs> I was looking in a shop window when the accident happened. 
You were looking in a shop window. So you didn't see the accident. No. That's what I told the policeman. Here's the tea. Did you tell him, George? Yes. He told me. He was looking in a shop window when the accident happened. Oh. Good. Edith? Yes? Why does he smell? He wanted to know if you take sugar in your tea. No, thanks. I said I always walk down South Street. I was looking in a shop window when the accident happened. Can I ask you some questions, Mr. Oldman? Paul. Thanks, Paul. And I'm Helen. Can we talk about you? About me? Isn't there a more interesting subject we can talk about? Well, if we must talk about me, my first film was Holiday Hotel. People told me I was quite good in that. Oh, you were. That was in 1968. And then there was uh, October Night. I played a doctor in that film. I remember. In 1971, I, I was the husband in Green Valley. And in 1972, I was in Bus Driver. <laughs> you were the bus driver? Of course. And you got married that year. Did I? Oh, yes, to Pauline, dear Pauline. And in 1973, I was the king in small country. Some people said I was a, a big king in a small country. A big king in a small country. Now, that's enough, Helen. You don't want to hear any more about me. Oh, I do. Well, there's very little to say, really. In 1974, I played Charles West in West is West. I got my Oscar in 1975, of course. That was for Friday Night Flowers. And I got married again to, uh, Barbara. And that's right, 1975. Then in 1976, there was that very good film, Peter's Problem. Very funny. And after that, uh, people knew I could be funny as well as serious. People don't think you can be both, Helen. But a good actor <laughs> can be anything. Well, in 1977, I was the other man in The Only Man, and I got married to Jennifer. 1978, I was in the American Airport. 1979... <laughs> Well, uh, you know what I did in 1979, I'm sure. The beach? Oh, yes, it was very good. <laughs> Helen? Yes? I'm not going to say another word about me. Now, we're going to talk about you. What do you want to know, Paul? People told me I was quite good. It was your first game on Saturday then? Yeah. People told me I was quite good. Did you score a goal? Four goals. Fantastic.
Well, it's the Grand Tour of Edinburgh, twice daily. Ah, I see. And the early ones at 9.30. 9.30 and... They're all listed over here. Oh, are they? Here for you. Grand and the next one is at 1.30. And they last three hours? About three to three and a half hours. Thank you again. Yeah, and they start... Yeah, to book your ticket for this tour, just along here on the right-hand side. Between four and five pound per person. Yes. Would you like a wash hand basin, please? Is it for one night or one night? Your last name, please. K R O H A. K R O H A. Your nationality? United States. USA. It's 25 pence for the booking fee, please. Give me 25 pence. All I have is 10 pounds. <laughs> Lucky you have. We're right here, right beside the station. Yes. Bed and breakfast. Mm -hmm. Between four and five pounds for a guest house. Yes. Is it just for tonight? We think so, yes. Mm -hmm. And two, two beds in the one room. Hello, Mrs. Murray. Tourist accommodation here. Do you still have a single room available, please? Have you? Oh, great. Well, can we take one for two nights, please? No, no, that just Mm -hmm. What's your charge, please? Five so you want to go up to Princess Street, turn left, and it's the third on the right. Oh yes, I see. You can take this map with you, Paul. Oh, thank you. Crone of the USA, please. Okay. Now we've booked you in to the Glenorchy Hotel on Glenorchy Terrace. This is a telephone number and it's £4.75 per person for bed and breakfast. Okay? Okay. I'll show you where it is. This is where we are right now and Lenorki Terrace is down here. So... It's rather straightforward. Yes. How will you be getting there? By bus? No, we have a car. You've got a car. Right That's fine. So if you can get down onto the North Bridge, right. just go straight the way down the road into Menton Terrace and then up to Glenorchy Terrace that way. Okay? Well, today we talked about... What were you doing when I rang? He wanted to know if you started work at 11. I said I always walk down South Street. I was looking in a shop window when the accident happened. People told me I was quite good. I want to know about you, Helen. What do you think of my last film?